Yo guys, we are back with another fight prediction, this time on 1-165. Uh, we are predicting Superlek versus Takaru for the one flyweight kickboxing world title. This is going to be in Japan on January 28th. So yeah, this is a huge fight. Obviously, a massive uh, kicker versus puncher or kicker versus boxer kind of scenario. Both guys probably pound for pound, one of the best in their, in their sports. Takaru probably pound for pound one of the best kickboxers in the world at the moment. Superlek obviously one of the best Muay Thai fighters of this generation. Both completely different styles, but I think that's got all the hallmarks for a war. Superlek, obviously known for his massive, massive kicks, especially his right kick. I think mainly his right kick, to be honest. The way he throws it, it's like, it, when you hear the sound of it live, it sounds like a baseball bat wrapping around someone's arms or or body is like ridiculous power in his kicks. But not just the power, it's, it's the speed of it, it's the accuracy, it's the timing. He's got it all. Um, his fight IQ is amazing. He's so experienced, obviously, he's probably had three, 400 fights um, as a Muay Thai fighter. So his experience is, is massive, but he is coming across someone that he probably hasn't come across before, and also in a different rule set that he's not as used to, the kickboxing rule set. I don't think he's, well, he hasn't come across any kickboxer like Takaru. Uh, someone that punches and bunches like, like he does. Somebody that cuts the distance the way Takaru does. And also somebody that can really put your lights out with one punch. I know Superlek fought Rotang. Rotang is still not a kickboxer though, and it is still, he is still different to Takaru. Takaru is going to have a different kind of pace, different footwork, um, and definitely different hand speed. He, I think he's a lot quicker than Rotang with his hand speed as well. So I think that's the difference there. And I think that's where Superlet might come into a bit of trouble. But the, the one thing that really interests me out of this fight is it is a kicker versus a boxer kind of scenario. And Takaru has never come across somebody that kicks the way Superlet does. So is he going to be able to cut the distance like he does usually? He's got five rounds against one of the toughest kickers. And if he's... If he does what he does where he will take kicks on the arm to kind of land his like three, four punch combinations, is, is he going to be able to take them kicks on the arms or to the body or to the legs for five rounds? I don't think many people can take that kind of power for five rounds clean across the arms. And I think it's one thing I haven't really seen, talk, seen talked about is, is the kicks on the arms, I think is, is what's going to be a key to Superlex game. I've heard people talk about low kicks and body, body kicks, but... I think he's going to target the arms, especially if Takaru comes in with a tighter guard, with his arms kind of covering his body. I think their arms, the forearms are going to get, uh, or they're going to take a beating. So that's, that's what's interesting me about this. But we know, we know how tough Takaru is as well. He's, he's like a robot going forward. He's, he's just nonstop pressure. He's, um, yeah, he's relentless. And even if he is hurt, he is going to still carry on and he's going to still keep pushing forward and take the fight to Superlek, especially at, being in Tokyo, his hometown or home city, um, he's going to have the crowd on his side. So it's going to be a crazy fight. But yeah, I think the problem with taking the kicks on the arm and on the leg is it is going to slow him down. Even if he is tough, he's, still, he's probably not going to possess the same amount of power in the later rounds as he did in the early rounds if his arms are gone or if his legs are if his legs are fatigued because he's took too many low kicks. So we, we talked about super legs, timing, speed, power with his uh with his kicks but we haven't like i haven't talked about takaru's timing again this this is why this is so interesting because although like suplex show no weakness in his chin if if that if takaru lands one of them punches on on a suplex chin he, he could go down like anyone in the world at that weight so yeah that's that's interesting and also you've got to remember as well in suplex last last bout against rotang he, um, he actually failed to make the flyweight uh, division. So does that mean he's struggling at the weight? And if he is struggling at the weight, is that gonna kind of test his chin a little bit more? Is he gonna be a bit weaker? Is his body gonna be a bit weaker? Cause Taker is probably gonna target his body quite a lot as well. I know I would if I was fighting someone that was known to struggle to make the weight. There's a few good fact, like big factors in this fight. I'm probably gonna sway towards a Superlek win I just think his accuracy, his speed, his timing, I think it's going to be a bit too much. But I think the one 
the one thing that's really going to win him the fight is all of them things I just listed. But the fact that he is so tough himself anyway, we've seen him in war after war after war. He's took a lot of shots. He's, he's had hundreds and hundreds of fights. He's a tough guy. He's, he's not just going to go down when he's hurt. He'll, he'll keep fighting until the end. And I think that's what's going to win him the fight. I think both of these guys at one point in the fight are going to get hurt. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing how they kind of come through that and how they come back fighting. But I think that's what's going to make this fight such a war. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this fight. Let me know what you think about the fight. A few more days and it's, it's go time. So yeah, looking forward to it. Any other fights you want me to predict or review, let me know in the comments. Give the video a like, subscribe to my channel and um, these videos are going to keep coming. So yeah, thank you guys.